بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم اللہ مربز اتنی علمہ صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم آمین الحمدللہ رب العالمین سامپلنگ This lecture is the summary of sample statistics. An important advice for me and for everyone. We must be good to others. You can find the link of the math website in the description where you can find the soft copy of this lecture. Some important notations which are used in sampling. Mu. This means the true population mean. Whereas mu cap means the unbiased estimate of population mean and x bar means the sample mean sigma square means the true population variance whereas sigma cap square means the unbiased estimate of population variance and s square means the sample variance these are two formulae of sample variance and p cap means the unbiased estimate of population proportion point estimates there are three formulae in point estimates number one the sample proportion this is the formula of sample proportion and sample proportion is equal to unbiased estimate of population proportion in this formula this x means frequency of the requirement and this ns means the sample size formula number two mu cap mu cap means the unbiased estimate of population mean and this is equal to sample mean and this is the formula of sample mean number three the unbiased estimate of population variance and the formula of this is ns over ns minus 1 times the sample variance s squared this is the formula of sample variance where this ps means the sample proportion well three important questions before constructing confidence interval for mu these are three questions number one name of the population we must know the population whether it is normal or non-normal sigma square we must know whether sigma square is known or unknown and we must know the sample size whether it is large or small this chart or table is extremely important to understand the confidence interval for population mean mu There are three cases, case A, case B and case C. In case C, we have two separate cases, case 1 and case 2. Let's understand case A. In case A, the first thing, name of the population. Population is normal. Number 2, sigma square is known. And number 3, any size. So when population is normal and sigma square is known, means this thing population is normal and sigma square is known so when we have this situation then sample size does not matter sample size could be either small or large it could be anything because of these two things the distribution of sample means is always normal so when population is normal and sigma square is known then sample size is irrelevant hence population uh, distribution of sample mean is always normal we don't need to apply central limit theorem here so according to uh, this formula this distribution we can write the formula for z the formula for z is x bar minus mu divided by the square root of this thing. When you will take the square root of this, you will get sigma over under root ns. 
and the formula of confidence interval for this case is x bar plus minus z these two things are fixed in all the confidence interval formula x bar plus minus z and this thing has come from here when you will take the root of this you will get sigma over under root ns divided by ns under root so this is case here and width of confidence interval if you have to find width of this confidence interval you just need to multiply this factor by 2 case b in case a the population was normal whereas in case b the population is non normal so this is the difference between these two these two cases this is the first difference and the similarity is sigma square is known in both the cases and here sample size is any any size but here sample size is large large means greater or equal to 30 so if population is non normal and sample size is large then clt is applied this is the application of clt clt is applied when population is non normal and sample size is large these are two conditions for clt to be applied so according to clt the distribution of x bar is approximately normal approximately not perfectly here distribution of x bar is perfectly normal because population was normal and sigma square was known but in this case distribution of x bar is approximately normal so according to this distribution we can write the formula of z the formula of z is x bar minus mu divided by under root of this and the formula of confidence interval is same as in case a x bar plus minus z is fixed for all types of uh, cases for all these four cases see this factor is same in all four cases and this factor come from here from here and the width of this confidence interval is same two times this factor now case c c1 in case c1 the population is normal in case a population was normal here sigma square is unknown is not known here sigma square was known so this is the difference between these two cases and because of this difference this is also different from this case here sample size could be anything large or small but here sample size must be large so when population is normal and sigma square is not known and sample size is large so because of these three things see uh, the population is normal because of this thing population is normal and since population is normal so distribution of x bar is perfectly normal this is very important this means perfectly normal perfectly normal and here x bar is approximately normal because of clt all the population was not normal same is here x bar is approximately normal because of clt so since population is perfectly normal 
सो द फॉर्मूला ऑफ कॉन्फिडेंस इंटरवल विल बी एक्स बार प्लस माइनस जी टाइम्स अंडर रूट ऑफ दिस थिंग नाउ केस सी टू पॉपुलेशन इज नॉन नॉर्मल इन केस बी पॉपुलेशन वॉज नॉन नॉर्मल सिगमा स्क्वेयर इज अनोन सिगमा स्क्वेयर वॉज नोन सैम्पल साइज इज लार्ज सी बिकॉज ऑफ दीज टू थिंग्स सी एल टी वॉज अप्लाइड सो बिकॉज ऑफ दीज टू थिंग्स सी एल टी वॉज अप्लाइड हेयर एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दीज टू थिंग्स नॉन नॉर्मल पॉपुलेशन एंड सिगमस एंड सैम्पल साइज इज लार्ज अगेन सी एल टी इज अप्लाइड सो सी एल टी इज ऑलवेज अप्लाइड वैन पॉपुलेशन इज नॉन नॉर्मल एंड सैम्पल साइज इज लार्ज सो दिस इज द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ सैम्पल मीन्स एक्स बार इज अप्रॉक्सीमेटली नॉर्मल एंड दिस इज द फॉर्मूला ऑफ द कॉन्फिडेंस इंटरवल फॉर दिस केस एक्स बार प्लस माइनस दी इज फिक्स एंड दिस थिंग came from here the under root of this thing is here and this is the formula of the unbiased estimate of population variance here we use the standard deviation and this is the formula of z for these two cases this result is here and this is the width of the confidence interval this table is extremely important to understand and organize the formulas of confidence interval for population mean the next thing sample proportion this is the formula of sample proportion and this is the unbiased estimate of population proportion and this is equal to sample proportion x means uh, frequency of requirement and ns means sample size well for large sample size for n greater equal to 30 sample proportion this ps is approximately normal and this is the mean of sample proportion and this is the mean and i mean this is the variance of sample proportion and this is the formula of confidence interval for sample proportion ps plus minus z and square root square root of this thing is here when you will multiply this factor by 2 you will get the width for uh, sample proportion if you are working for probability of sample proportion then always do continuity correction of plus minus 1 upon 2 ns i discuss this thing in detail in my sampling lecture hope this lecture will help you to summarize uh, the sample statistics of sampling good luck and allah hafiz